Let's take a look at our anime simulator UIK2. As you can see, we have 11 total frames, and here is the unit's frame. We have a tooltip right here, which you can see. We have name, rarity, we have an EXP section, which has a progress bar right here. Um, you can see on the right side, EXP bar right here. We also have a stroke here with a glow image back here, which we can modify the color of. As you can see, um, let's go for a red to kind of align with the uh, mythical color here. Uh, as you can see with the gradient, we can also apply this gradient as well to the image. If we make this white, go paste and as you can see, and also with the stroke replace uh, like so. Uh, we have a search bar and obviously a working scrolling frame, a custom scroll bar right here. And we have equip, which is right here. We have close. So pretty cool. Um, and you can see that these frames have a locked variant, which we can turn off right here and, uh, and into a standard frame. So that is very nice. That is our units frame. Um, next we have teleport. Your image will just go uh, right here inside the, um, the frame. We have locked variants as well. And the cool thing about this icon is that it is uh, also color changeable, as you can see. Um, if you want, <laughs> you can modify the color or uh, if you want to add like, you know, some kind of hover effect, uh, it makes it easy to do so. Okay, next, let's take a look at our store. This is quite a large UI, and I am. Uh, this is actually, I think it's quite beautiful of a UI. So let's take a look at what we have here. Now, if we expand the hierarchy, the uh, UI tree here in our explorer, we have container, which is a scrolling frame uh, con containing all of our content right here so we have one section uh, game passes and we have limited items uh, right here so if we expand we have content template and here obviously we can modify all of these uh, details so we could go for you know ember egg or something and uh, we can also change the gradient here we set a nice gradient color and then we're going to use this to uh, copy and paste this onto the find the stroke paste the place and as well as the glow we're going to have to make the color white here the image color as you, as you can see and then we have this inner glow as well make this white and now you can see um, it's right here as well as the uh, template here, it is in a list layout, so we can very easily cut out those. And we're gonna uh, replace the color, like I said. And then right here, as well as the inside in main, we have this glow. I'm just gonna pick a screen color. Um, there we go, that's pretty good. And then now we're just gonna copy this three more times. Uh, so we have this uh, full display. You can see just how easy it is to modify and customize this UI. If we scroll down, we have game passes right here. So, uh, and these card designs you can see are using frames. So you could, you know, so you can actually if we copy. You can very easily uh, change and modify all these so for example you grab the glow you know you could change the size make this a square uh, change the aspect ratio and certain things like that so that right there is the store we're gonna head on over to our settings let's take a look we have a slider with an input and also right here we have a toggle which we can 
also change the states of so off into on as you can see um, very nice looking settings ui let's go over to rewards very cool um we have two huge claim uh sections or cards this is going to be for your um, day six and day seven right here as you can see it goes in order one two three um four five and six seven uh we have quests this is also a very nice uh, quest ui um this is your request right here zero out of five um for defeating the five orcs that is your task list right there and we have this uh inactive questing right here so inactive as you can see and this is uh, active which we can uh, copy and paste right here just like that all right quest next we have index very nice you can see uh, this is the actual contents of what you have to discover and here is your worlds so this is two scrolling frames we have a search bar and yeah take a look for yourself right here next we have the hud which i have active we have the uh, currency the gold and the gems with two uh plus icons with two icons that can take you to the store regular buttons right here okay next all right the egg ui uh six item frames and we have two buttons right here unlock one uh, by pressing e and we also have auto okay we are almost complete we have the dialogue ui very clean um you have a frame for if you want to add like an avatar for your npc uh tutorial the name and also the uh, description continue and cancel all right lastly we have our codes ui which is quite simple but it is very nice looking all right that is our anime simulator 2 ui kit um if you guys enjoyed this product walkthrough um make sure you guys check out the kit if you are interested the details are all listed here so if you guys want to go ahead and uh, check it out um you can see all of the frames we have just gone over and yeah thank you guys for watching content and especially tutorials are going to be coming back so if you guys are looking forward to that make sure you guys stay tuned and with all that being said i hope you guys have a great day i'll see you guys later